What is going on YouTube? Coming back today with my next NFL Draft Scouting Report. So, I believe my last one I did was Paxton Lynch, which was a couple days ago. Today I will be doing Miles Jack. So, got an interesting one here. He is a 6'1", 245 pound junior out of UCLA, a linebacker, and I honestly played a lot more positions besides that in college. Um, can't really get into his background stats and information too much because I believe he only played three games this year. Yeah, and one interception, really all that could show for it. So, um, yeah, I get into his strengths. And to be honest, I could name these for a long time, but I'm just going to try to sum them up as quick as possible in five strengths. So first one is he's an athletic freak. This is the most obvious one. Um, this is a guy that runs probably a 4 4 40. If we're talking about him actually doing the 40, I don't know what his last time 40 was. Um, he did not run in the combine just because of his injury. And <clears throat> um, yeah, so next strength is he's versatile and fits most defensive schemes. He can play both 3 4 or a 4 3 um, on defense. He's not going to be a dominant pass rusher for you. I mean, you probably don't want to slot him at outside linebacker. That's probably not his strongest spot. Um, or that's probably not the spot where you can maximize him. He can definitely pass rush. Uh, that's for sure. But I would keep him at inside linebacker and really just have him do whatever you need him to do on every single play. Um, this is, again, a guy that's extremely versatile. Extre I mean, he played running back. He played safety. He played D end. He played outside, inside linebacker, and he played corner fullback and wide receiver so yeah I mean th 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 he can play anywhere he was talking about being a Heisman contender heading into this year and I believe in the last year as well or it was can talk about being a Heisman contender at one time like I said an athletic freak anyone that can play both the linebacker and the running back position and play both while excelling at him that's a dangerous combination to make a very very um good athlete so Next one is his high football IQ, and he's a good player to have off the field. Now, like I said, to be able to play that many positions, to be able to excel at that many positions, and to be able to really be a hoss all over the football field, you got to know what you're doing. you got to have had a lot of experience playing football, and um, you've got to know how to read and react to every single thing that happens. And, I mean, it just seems like everything happens quickly for Oz Jack. If you just watch some of his highlights, it's... It is insane how good of an athlete he is. The closing speed, um, just overall foot speed, uh, the strength, the um, size, the agility, the acceleration, it's all there. Um, like I said, it this is a guy that never had any problems off the field at UCLA. And um, talking with a, talking about a draft that's been very highlighted by some red flags from guys like Noah Spence and, um, of course, Robert Kim Dietschy. And having a guy in the top five that just really has no question marks off the field, it's, that's a big plus. So get into his next strength, which he is good on or good at pass rush, coverage, and run defense, which literally checks off every single uh, box you want for an inside linebacker. Like I said, he's so versatile. He's got... I mean, he's got great ball skills. He's a tremendous pass coverage linebacker. He can keep up with a lot of receivers even. He knows how to diagnose a play. He knows how to read, like I said, read and react. It's all there for him. Um, like I said, the ball skills are there. He's a great tackler. He's very quick off the edge. I mean, he can get off blocks really quick. It's just hard to contain him, like I said, with that combination of size and speed. So get into his fist strength, and it's just his high upside. Um, obviously, the biggest knock against him is just his injuries, and I mean, I, it, I think he's still worth a top five pick that's been kind of up in the air, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, I don't know if there's a player in this draft that has higher upside than he does, just with, like I said, with the combination of athleticism, football IQ, and versatility. I mean, it's just hard to find a player that just has this many tools in his arsenal to be able to become a successful NFL player. Um, I mean, there's a lot of guys in this draft that have that have the ability to reach that level. 
Um, obviously, Kem Dietschy being one of them. Uh, Carson Wentz has been getting that type of hype, too. Laramie Tunzel, another one. Noah Spence, another one. But when you bring up most of those names of guys who can reach that level of upside, it's there's all big red flags for each of them. And while Miles Jack does have a red flag there, I don't think it's near as big as any of the rest of them. So just getting to some of his weaknesses, and really there's one major one and one very, very small one, and the small one's the result of a major one. So the first weakness is obviously injury. Um, I mean, he had a torn ACL. I believe it was an ACL. It might have been multiple things this past year. Um, Season-ending injury, one that caused him to sit out from – NFL com- or from combine workouts and after what happened to Jalen Smith I think leg injuries to linebackers are starting to scare NFL teams off and I think that might honestly hurt his draft stock a little bit um, before he heads into the draft I just don't while I think this guy could deserve a top three pick I don't think he'll make I honestly don't think he'll make it out of the top six uh, that's been a pretty common thing in mock drafts now but like I said that that knee injury is just going to scare away a lot of teams. The fact, and then get into the second one, which is just unknown workouts. Now, a lot of people know his level of athleticism, but he didn't. I believe he only did one workout at the combine. Yep, 19 reps on the bench press. So, the lack of workouts, uh, pro days, scouting over the last uh, really six months is going to be, it, I mean, it's going to be a problem. There's no turning. There's no turning that away just because so many players have had the opportunity to have their draft stocks rise just because of, you know, pro dates, uh, senior bowl workouts, you know, combine, things like that. I mean, he's still been able to do interviews and stuff like that, but that's really it. All right, so that does it for strengths and weaknesses. Like I said, I could have talked about a lot more strengths there, but I just tried to wrap them all up into one. So get into his NFL projections. Now, I think that Miles Jack fits well at any of the picks, I believe, three to six. I, I could see him going to either one. Like I said, he's so versatile. Any team that needs a player on defense is, their, is one of their predominant needs, it just like a or player to build around or just player to fit one of many versatile needs. Um I've had him most commonly going number five to the Jaguars. I believe that's where I had him going in my last mock draft because I think that's the last missing piece for the Jaguars defense right now after how much they added to it this um, this offseason. I believe San Diego would be a good fit also. He could play alongside Manti Teo and Melvin Ingram, and I think that would be actually a very good linebacking core. Um, but, yeah. Again, I mentioned Carson Wentz and... Ezekiel Elliott as being my favorites heading into this NFL season as being rookies of the year immediately after they get drafted. And Miles Jack, as long as the injuries come along, or as long as the recovery rehab comes along fine, and obviously the injury bug stays away from it, or from from him for his rookie year, I think this is a guy that you immediately have to slot as a favorite for defensive player of the year, or NFL defensive rookie well, AFC or NFC defensive rookie there is what I was getting after. Um, like I said, just be he he is one of the best player defensive players in this draft. There's no knocking that he he's up there with DeForest Buckner, uh, Joey Bosa, and Jalen Ramsey. Like I said, there's no doubting that. Um, whether he's the best of those three or four is I guess more in the eye of the holder right now. Um, like I said, guys like Jalen Ramsey, Joey Bosa. And Forrest Buckner, they don't have the same injury problems that Miles Jack did um, his senior, or this last year. So, yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. Um, well, I'll be coming back later this week with Joey Boza. Then I got Laquan Treadwell, and then that's probably it. Uh, like I said, I might tack on, I believe it was, um, Connor Cook and Christian Hackenberg. Maybe Cardiel Jones. But not sure about that yet. The draft is just about two weeks away. So I'm um, getting really close to it. Uh, college football season did go by extremely quick, even though it wrapped up like three months ago. It's still seemed like the season went by incredibly quick, and so did the NFL season. But before you know it, we'll be back with the 2016 NFL and 2016 college football season. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya. He is a 
six foot four, two hundred fifteen pound senior quarterback. Actually, I believe no junior quarterback. My bad. Out of California, he is from Novato, California. So, uh, some of his stats from last year um, through four four seven or four thousand.